Dear viewers, I want to talk to you about a situation that you may fall into one day or you may not. It really depends on your player preference and how much you spend on this game. But there might be a time when, you know, you pull, you know, on a set and you get all the GRs you want, right? You get your four of GRs, but then every time you got that one GR you wanted, you also got another one like three times. And you're like, ooh, if I had the play set, it would be perfect. When that situation comes up, I want you to ask yourself, is this my main clan? Is this a clan that I'm going to passionately play forever? Is this a deck I really enjoy and passionately love playing? If the answer is not yes, don't craft the fourth copy. Reason why I say that is because of course in today's deck uh, and fight, we're going to take a look at Asha from set four. So not even the set six version, which already has been updated. And of course I could be playing it. I'll be playing in the set six meta on JP here because um, I have three copies of the dream spinning Asha. And for the longest time I was thinking, do I craft the fourth just for this video? Do I craft the fourth? Do I really go for it? Like, ah, I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to, but ultimately I decided that I, as much as I like Tokoha as a character, Asha is fun, but it's not really my thing. And you know, I enjoy New Nectar, but it's not one of my main clans. So I was like, you know what? We're saving those GR mats for something better. So today we're gonna take a look at, of course, Asha. Of course, post set four. So this is for all of you global guys. I'm doing this especially for you. And honestly, I also wanna say, I didn't really play too much during the month of February. Like just kind of let myself relax a little bit with zero because, uh, you know, January was quite heavy uh, with the Gavriel season. But this month I'm really motivated to play zero again. Like the hype is really back for me. A lot of cool decks to play. Some decks aren't as strong as I was hoping they would be, but still like the hype just excites to play the game is definitely back and I'm excited to say that as well. So today we're going to take a look at my Asha list for set 4. Of course we're going to probably do set 6 pretty soon after this with all the updates but I wanted to make a video for you guys here with the current build and I run a pretty interesting lineup I suppose so let's break it down right. Quite a few cards you already see you know like Asha's and whatnot I'm sure you guys are already used to seeing. Uh, Heal Guard yes thank you for popping up but you know, four of Asha, you guys know what she does. GB2 buffs your board, and the stride skill lets you copy one of your rears. And then I still play two copies of the Maiden of uh, Frill Droid, so basically, or Frill Droid rather. So GB1, when I attack it's a Vanguard, Kamos 1, and clone something that isn't herself. So basically, an attack extender. But I play three copies. I used to play four, but I put it down to three of the Maiden of Flower Pistol, who is a resist. So her first skill is a GB1. When your other rearguard is placed, she gains the name of the unit. And like, obviously that's a good skill, it helps with some turns, but the main thing about her is the resist. Like resist really shuts down a lot of matchups that try to like aggress you, messiahs have, have trouble around it, and we get even more resistance at 6 with the Turia, so that's going to be really nice. We still play 4 Gladiolos because our only form of multi-attack if we don't go into the Primavera, that's our other multi-attack on top of the Asha GR. Uh, then 4 of the Counter-Chargers because we counter-moss a lot in this deck, so I think it's pretty obvious, pretty self-evident. And four of the brand new Maiden of Lost Memory. She's a really good card. GB1, she's only 8k power, but when an attack hits a Vanguard, you can count almost two. And for every same name unit as her, you draw one. So if you have three or four on the board, you draw three. And then if you have one, at least one unit that is the same name as her, you counter charge one. So CB1 to draw like minimum two maximum like five if you have like the, the resist card to copy the name as well. It's Pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. So we really like that. She's good for like the early game, just to like draw a bunch of cards, find your pieces. And then in the later stages, you're basically just kind of going in with the Gladiolus to do the cloning. And we play one copy of the uh, Sariana. So she's the Amber clone, basically GB1 when placed on rear. If Vanguard is a grade three or greater Ranunculus, can almost one soul boss one and then clone one of your rear guards. And this unit gets plus 2k power. So I don't play more copies of her because she's nice, but we already clone as a stride skill. It's not like Ult Mile where calling down the Benizel instantly gives you another intercept you already can get a second intercept by calling any grade two so she's not as great in my opinion but still a nice like 13th grade two essentially for grade ones it's strife potters pgs for ps still because that's our way to not deck out and keep our units in deck so we can keep cloning them and she gets she basically puts one of our non-triggers back to the deck and then you choose one of your units and all units of the same name get plus 3k so you can make a pretty big board and then i play one copy of the during opponent's turn 11k just because it's like a nice little one of defensive card to have Starter is, of course, still the Ozu. 
nothing too surprising there. For the G-Zone, our first stride is going to be the Arborea. On hit, clone one of your rears and give it plus 2k is a nice fourth attack. Then, of course, the uh, Primavera is a nice way to get a lot of attacks out because you can clone stuff like the uh, Gladiolus and then she calls even more cards. So you can get up to like six attacks in a turn, which is pretty good. And of course, use a lot of CB, that's why the counter charge is very important. But on attack Vanguard, CB2, put five non triggers back from your drops onto the deck and then clone two of your cards two times. So you can call up to four cards in total, which is nice. Still playing that four Jingle Flower. Jingle Flower is a GB2 once per turn, G Persona Blast, and then give one of your rearguards the following ability. For each of your units with the same name as this unit, your units all gain plus 2k. So of course this stays during your uh, opponent's turn as well because that essentially lets you just have a huge board that even like your intercepts are super swole and of course that is a very strong part of this deck and the newest addition is the dream spinning romanculus asha so if you have four copies play four copies cut down on two jingle flowers you can also make space for a harmonics messiah because of course link joker can be a bit of a tricky matchup so i would say you're either cutting out like a primavera which kind of hurts because she's really good to have or you're cutting into like your jingle flower and playing like a second primavera here the ratios are kind of hard with the ag zone but i think this card is insane like the buff she got in zero is really good i'm really tempted to craft a fourth but i'm um, honestly we get a lot of free packs of previous sets um in later stages of zero right now for you guys in global um and we've gotten quite a few set four packs lately so i'm gonna just keep pulling set four packs that i get from like playing the game and hopefully pull my fourth eventually because i don't plan to play asha that's seriously like not bring it to tournaments or like climb with it so much but it's a fun deck and asha just looks nice uh so her skill the first one i think is the same as tcg start of the battle phase if you have one rear guard that has the same name as one of your other rear guards then for that turn your front row gets plus 5k so she already gives your front row buff which makes it easier to combo off with gladiolus and then she has a gb2 which is really good once per turn g persona blast and then Copy one of your rear guards and give it plus 2k and the ability to attack from the back row. The back row attack is new. This is really cool because you can take out intercepts like that. You can just like, you know, just a fourth attack for no counter blast is so good while also cloning. But G Persona Blast, which of course does hurt a little bit. So that is a deck. Let's take a look at it in action. You guys can, of course, mess around with different ratios. I think for the great threes, especially, I'm running this like 3 2 lineup because I still like going into her sometimes just to like extend quite easily. Um, but of course, if you are seeing a lot more like disruption decks running around, then the Flower Pistol is a really good card to have as a four of. So you can consider that as well. But Without any further ado, let's get into some games and see how the deck works in set 4. Don't expect too many wins. I, As you can see, my legend points are 0. I have been playing quite a bit, but I've just been testing like chaos. I've been, and then like, you know, 1 win, 2 losses. And then like with this deck too, it's like loss, loss, win, loss, loss. You know, and things like that. And then trying out Time Leap and also kind of like discovering the tempo that the deck wants to do. Because Time Leap is very different in like in the way it wants to be played i think in zero because i think you still want to go to, like fate rider to like push your opponent to four and then do the time leap stuff and it looks like we go into link joker probably gonna be a chaos breaker which is gonna be a bit of a rough matchup honestly um because we are not playing the harmonics here but could be messiahs like, judging by the sleeves uh opening hand is okay we'll keep this for s actually, i'm gonna put it back actually we're going first so we don't need to care about the strife as much we have an asha which is good as well as the triple rare um, maiden, so that's the extra draw maiden. She's a very good maiden. <laughs> we like her a lot. P on the opening hand is also good. We will take that. Of course, she is going to be a vital part of our combos later on. This looks like the combo messiah build, so you guys in global are probably are used to seeing this one too. So this is a very set four accurate uh, video in that case. So I think that's also a treat for you guys. So I think for our like. Starting turns, we're not going to aggress much. This is not a deck that pushes crazy, like, or, like, has crazy card advantage that enables it to push like crazy. So we're going to basically just take it slow and then draw a bunch of cards off of the Lost Memory and then see where, where else we can go with that. So, uh, Gladiolus doesn't really do anything in the early game. Like, her combos are best when your opponent's at, like, four-ish. So for now, we're going to just swing, swing pass, swing pass. All right, nothing checked on the offensive. No draws checked yet either by either of us, which is also you know something but let's see our opponent going second it's gonna be quite scary actually like the combo missile list going second is um pretty scary we do have two pgs which should help and my dogs are also feeling very supportive of the fact that we have two pgs oh no awaking messiah already on the board just like that all right well i see how it is all right well at least my dogs 
are very excited about the current game, so that's good. Let's ride into Asha here. I gotta keep letting this animation play out. We could actually call down the resist um, because it can't get targeted, so we could push, but it's also my only stride fodder. So I'm thinking we're gonna just hold off in case I don't get another stride fodder to go into. So I think it's fine just to hold off. We check an Asha and another stride fodder technically, so we can commit the resist next turn, right? It's no problem. Uh, hopefully, I don't die from not putting up intercepts. The awakening there is definitely very scary because that means you can lock it on the first stride. All right, going into the alter ego. Let's see. My dogs are very excited about the alter ego. I don't know how much my mic picks up, but you know, my dogs are pretty far away. But they they definitely <laughs> they pop off when they see a, a cool combo deck. That's for sure. You know, dogs love combo decks, and dogs definitely love Asha too. All right, alter ego. Gonna be locking my starter here, which is kind of annoying, but it's not the end of the world. We have enough cloning power to not get punished by that so let's see how things how things go on here for us oh no the full combo the full combo all right well i might be dead i might just be dead well let's see that's big power and the awakening is going to swing for a lot of times and gonna probably kill me like I'm gonna need some heavy defensive, so I have like two PGs in hand, no heal guards, so I might just be dead. Like, genuinely might just be dead, which is pretty yikes. <laughs> okay, no defensive there. 26, swinging in, and then what? what is the last card that he has locked here? Okay, it's not an awakening, that's good at least. Uh, no way, you can do it again, right! Oh god, I'm like almost dead. That's literally gonna stand again. This is the power of this deck, by the way. This is the power of the, the full power combo Messiah is insane. I'm barely surviving this by the skin of my teeth. You see what just happened? You see what just happened? Let me, let me bring you a little closer, just so we're up close and personal. You see what just happened there? Meanwhile, I have to like struggle into Arborea here. Like, hello? <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> you know... If, if if anything, I got to show off what that deck can do. <laughs> I got to show off what that deck can do. Alright, let's draw some cards, I guess. Um, calling you out and cloning her as well. Do we have any more copies in the deck? I think we have one more, yeah. So maybe it's an Arborea play. Like, I'm thinking we just... Do we have anything to put back here? Two PGs. Alright, we're gonna put the PGs back, that's for sure. Alright, we can do this. Put the PGs back and then clone the... Or, like, make Pia's buff themselves. So this way we can not have to boost one of them, right? Yeah, we're gonna just buff the Pia's. This way we boost one of them, but we don't have to boost the other one. So we swing this into rear. And then we swing this into rear boosted. And then Arborea swings and hits. And then we're gonna be hitting and finding another one of the Maidens. And then being able to draw a bunch, so... Should work out, should work out, there we go. All right, triple check, we hit, no trigger, and then we're gonna copy you, and you're gonna get a bit of power, and it's gonna swing for 23, so we would hit over the defensive two, and with this, we will also draw two cards. So that's also nice. Recuperate some losses, but with my the stuff on my opponent's field, I am not expecting to survive much, especially if I don't draw any uh, defensive cards there. <laughs> Good Lord. You know, like, normally these kind of games where it's like I don't even get to play the game much, I'm like, ah, do I even do I even show these in the video? But this Alter Ego player had such a clean combo turn that I'm like, allow it. Allow it. I think it's fine. <laughs> Crazy how much he went off. And he can do it again, like, as long as he has the, uh, the Messiah. I mean, he can go either into a Messiah Stride or another Max. So he can go into another uh, good old Maximum Seal. Well, let's see. Let's see if he goes into Maximum Seal. If not, then honestly, Amnesty is just as fine. Yep, it's another Maximum Seal. Which means he probably has another Unlocker in hand. He's gone through, what? One Blast Monk. One of the Great Ones, I think, too. Two Great Ones, okay. Does he have a Blast Monk? If he does, then it's probably GG. Okay, that's... Is he just going for big power? I mean, I still have heals in deck, right? Three heals in deck. 
Intercept's both dying though, so can't get too excited. All right, does he have an unlocker? He does have the Blast Monk. Oh my god. He can just swing Vanguard first, and like I think I need to literally heal twice to have a chance. No, not even. Even two heals, will, I'm still dead. <laughs> That's insane. This dude had all the pieces, comboed eloquently. That was beautiful. But you know what? I'm going to leave that in. I'm going to leave that in. We got completely destroyed there, like decimated. But my opponent did it. He was kind of clean with it. He was kind of clean with it. All right, let's run it back. Hopefully don't run into the same player. All right, look here. Can I go second? Can I go second against Silver Thorns? Yes, I can. Thank God. Okay. If I'm going first, I would have actually been in too much trouble. <laughs> All right. So, opening hand is okay. I kind of want to keep the PG. kind of want to keep this, to be honest, as well, because it could be a stride fodder. But we don't have Asha yet, so it's a little bit dangerous. <sighs> the PG I want to keep. I'm going to hold on to the PG. We're going to put the triggers back, and we don't draw into an Asha, but we could find a stride fodder going second, hopefully. Like, not riding Asha definitely hurts a lot, so we're going to have to see what we draw into. Okay, it is Silver Thorns 100%. That's cool. I mean, Silver Thorns are really strong. I've talked about it before in the tier list, and in general, I was covering the deck myself. Like, the addition of the 5 section support and the Pale Moon G Zone developing in general has definitely done a lot for this deck. Like, this deck is super, super strong now, and arguably the best Pale Moon variant, in my opinion. So I think it's uh, it's bound to be good. All right, Strife Water went to bottom, which isn't great. We do need to find one for next turn to search Asha, otherwise we're in trouble. So hopefully... We do find one. Oh, Ryan's the Lillian, so that's our early aggro getting shut down. Gonna just swing, I agree with that. You don't want to push too much early um, until you have all the, like, the benefits of pushing from stuff like the Lukir power bonus. Still no Stripe Fodder and also no Asha. That hurts, and Asha went to damage too. I'm gonna call a Pia here, just not overdraw, I think. In case I need to cl clone it as well. All right, swing with 14, pray we... Oh my god. Dude. Dude. Can we not? Can I stop having fail games? <laughs> All right, there's Venus Luke here. Welcome. Venus Luke here. I'm assuming he still has a Marichka in hand, right? Zelma. Oh, he has one in Soul. That's, that's all you need. That's all you need. Oh, gonna use a starter here. Yep. Search out the starter. Let's see what he finds. Finds one card. A dragon. Oh, there's the last mage. Okay. So basically just... Those are the last two mage in the game. Asha does not draw me into another Asha. That's troublesome. That's very, very troublesome. The thing is... If I don't ride Asha, I don't have a Ranunculus heart. I literally cannot use the Asha stride. Which is painful. Literally, dramatically painful. Ow. <laughs> Ow. All right, look at my man, 26, what are you, a stride? What are you, a stride? Oh my god. <laughs> These damage checks. All right, we have to struggle stride and wipe our own asses, apparently. God damn, dude. How is this game real? How is this game real? Why is it punishing me for breathing? <laughs> How? This is crazy. All right, well, we're gonna basically just... Oh yeah, I don't have Asha skills. Like, wait, why is it not searching? I was like, oh yeah, right. <laughs> oh yeah, right. Ah. Uh. Well, you know what they say. I don't know what they say, actually, but you know what they say. Okay, uh, starter skill, copy this. That's good. And then... Huh? I don't have a... Gr I can't use Pia. Oh my god, I can't use Pia. How? <laughs> how? Yo, how? How? This game, dude. How is this real? <laughs> how is this real? I've drawn into three of my heals, too. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Bruh, this isn't a game. This is not a game. <laughs> Well, let's use this. Do you need a Ranunculus Vanguard too? No, you don't. Okay, you can draw me two cards. That's good. Hey, Asha and a Strike Potter. Okay, we can play the game now. We can play the game now. We can play the game now. 
<laughs> if I somehow don't die this turn, that is. At least I have three heal guards and a, and a PG, so I can kind of survive, and I can ride Ash and stride immediately after that. Going to the Ranunculus stride and, like, return the counter charges, I guess, and take out the front rows. Okay, so he's gonna, like, Zelma here. Yeah, he has one Zelma, he's gonna turn into a Marichka, but he's gonna swing into the rear, and then call another Zelma, I guess? Do you have another Zelma? You do. Okay, cool. Yeah, you can go crazy combo. See? Silver Bars don't even need to stride. No, no stride necessary. Just go ham. Go crazy. Go boinkers. Go absolutely mental. Alright. Big power. Yep, that, that's big. <laughs> that sure is big. Dragon here, I guess? Yeah, Dragon's gonna do the trick. Boom! There it is. Are you in awe, global players? At the fact that you can play Silverthorns and they'll be this good. PG. Okay, Zalma. Cool. Good stuff. Going back. Nice. <laughs> Good stuff, go go back nice. Happy. Alright, two heals left in hand still. That's nice. So we have two intercepts to burn through. We draw into another resist. Let's ride the Asha here. Good lord. Good lord. I was this close to being like, alright, let's just concede and just play the next game. But no. No concede necessary because we have victory to chase. <laughs> alright, here we go. Dream spinning Ranunculus. Asha! So, four cards in hand, I believe in unlimited potential. You see? I believe in unlimited potential. I think we can do it. I think we've got what it takes. We're gonna call the counter charger and clone it. And then we're gonna put another copy back to the deck and it's gonna be great. Right. Uh, what do I have in deck still? No counter chargers, one Pia. So we can actually clone the Pia with Acha skill and make our attack from back row. Uh, so I think we can just go for that. That way we don't have, like, a clogged up field anymore. So yeah, let's call the Pia. Cha-ching! There we go, give her some power. And then we're gonna do a bump. Put back the PG at this point, honestly. And buff all Pias. Shwee! Nice. And then we're gonna do that again. Put the Stride Fodder back. Buff all Pias. <laughs> Ching! And then do it again! Put back the Gladiolus, maybe? Buff all Pias. Yay! <laughs> Alright, I think we're good to go. Bada bing, bada boom. <clears throat> Big power buff to the front. Uh, I think we can basically just like swing the Ash into rear here. And then we have a huge Humongous Among Us rear column. I guess we could have swung with Pia here as well, because I want to swing with this for the counter charge. Um, but it's okay, we can live with 2CB, I think. Swing of the 18, bada bing bada boom, gets the draw, good thing I didn't swing with the other column first. And then 32, we ask for a heal guard here, heal guard will come out. Alright, can we survive another Silverthorn turn? I am not sure. Because he has 2 CB, which means he can use Ana and Marichka, so that's 2 attacks, and then 3 attacks to face. So probably not, probably not. Gonna stride, interesting. What's it gonna be? Lunatech? It is Lunatech, okay. Lunatech will be a good pickup. This gives everything that calls out a soul plus 2k. So that's nice. And he's using the other skill now to uh, on attack. Suck in two rears. I guess theoretically what I could have done is gone for Jingle Flower there too. If I wasn't trying to push for game. <clears throat> so the Jingle Flower would have given me the uh, defensive columns. To maybe not get taken out. But then he just like boosts in with the Ana. And then my power isn't as high anymore I guess. So we'll see. We'll see. How many heals I have left? One. Singular heal. Could still happen. Could still happen. Never give up, you know? Never give up. Alright, Marichka coming out. There she is. Swings for 11 because I get the power buff now. And then she can Kalmas 1. Like, in hindsight, I could have not given Kalmas, I guess, but... You know. Ooh, the thing she calls gets plus 2, so it still hits. Oh my god. Oh my god. And this is on attack. Randomly put one of my rears to soul. So goodbye, one of my Pias. Alright, well, let's see if we don't die to this and check a heal or something. Alright, Zalma's goodbye, Pia goodbye. Let's see what we check. PG. Good to see. Alright, gets the draw. If we survive here, we can definitely clap back. We can go for a huge Primavera turn, and it's gonna be beautiful. And we don't survive. <laughs> you know, the first game was so quick, I'm gonna go for one more. One more, surely... This time, we won't die to messiahs, and we won't randomly brick and not have a Ranunculus Vanguard, and we can just play a normal game.
All right, let's go for another one. See who we're facing in shadows. Okay, so this could be either updated Diablo or Avengers or Pirate, I guess. Probably. Ooh, interesting hand. We're going first, so I'm gonna toss this back, and we can search out the Asha if necessary, because we have the double stride fodder, so we can ride one of them without much worry. I think keeping the PG is pretty good, especially against Shadows. If it's Claret, it's like 9 crit, so we gotta be a little bit careful there. No sleeves, which is hard to guess what they're playing. No sleeves, but has the Kanzaki avatar, which is nice. We're going first again, which isn't great. Alright, but we opened the Asha finally, so that's nice. Good to see, good to see. We're gonna ride the Padmini here, and then just pass. So, going first again, definitely not great. Like, this is much like most stride reliant decks, a deck that loves to go second. And our opponent's definitely gonna have a great time with that. Ryan's a Swordbreaker, still hard to tell what exactly this is. I think, until we see another card on this drive check. A Peach, okay, that doesn't tell me anything either. This could still be Revengers, technically. Although Revengers runs judge, run Judge Bow usually, but you never know. You never know, right? Never never give in to temptation and try to start guessing, because you'll probably be wrong. Okay, grade two. Counter charger gone. Un okay, two PGs gone. That's good. That means Organizer will not add them to hand. And the right target is. Show me what deck you're playing, please. I'm assuming it's Claret. It doesn't look like Diablo anymore. Although it could be, I guess it could be. They do run David. Maka is probably Claret, but it could still be Diablo. So hard to tell. So hard to tell. Okay, it's Claret. <laughs> Finally. All right, good thing I, uh, you know. Ooh, the draw defensive. We like that. We like that. Force out a trigger here. Mmm. Not the kind of trigger I wanted to force out, but I guess it's fine. I'm just casually on four already. XD. <laughs> Dude, can my opponents calm down? Can my opponents calm down? Is this just the, the Asha bullying simulator? Is this what we're playing? We're just bullying Asha into the high heavens? Like, what? What is this? Why is this happening? Can, can I get an explanation real quick? <laughs> can I get an explanation for why this, is, this phenomenon is currently taking place? Local man gets a draw. That's nice. Local man checks the PG, which is not nice. My only defensive card. My opponent whiffs a, whiffs a heal, that's good. <laughs> my opponent also has a PG at the bottom, which is also nice. But if my, my opponent... Uh, luckily, if it's Clara, it doesn't have Retire. So that's good. But what Clara does have is a potential multi-attack, because we see that he's running the uh, that double rare. This guy. The freaking Dark Pride. So that's a little bit worrying. Hopefully I don't get destroyed and die. <laughs> that would be cool. Alright, thank you, Kanzaki, for the cool lines. Thank you for your inspiring talk. But now, uh, please don't crit me. <laughs> please don't crit me. <laughs> Swordbreaker, so he plays more than one. That's understandable. Gonna use the skill to soul blast the other one out. That's also understandable. What's gonna be the play here? What is the play? He didn't... Oh, he didn't have other great ones, dude. These crits. Ay, 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 ay. Uh oh. Alright. In the main. Alright. Choosing to plus a lot here. I'm guessing he's trying to draw into the last PG he has. Or last two PGs, I guess. Maka doesn't make multi attack. Okay. Unless he checks the crit, I don't actually have to waste my PG here. And next turn, he's gonna be on at least like six cards in hand, which is kind of insane when you think about it. Does he save the David? I think he might save the David. Yeah, he saves the David. I like that. Save it for next turn. Okay, gets a grade one and grade two, so no PGs there. Grade two. Grade two. Please don't crit me. Please crit me. Thank God. Okay. PG stays intact. No triggers on my defense almost whatsoever. We have an Asha in there. P would have been nice to draw into as well. Not gonna lie. But it's okay. We'll make do with it. Let's go into Primavera again. Um. This is my only grade one, so I might need to actually hold on to it. So let's just drop the Asha for Stride. What do we clone here? Do I really want to clone my Stride Fodders? I think we just clone the um, the draw grade two, so we can draw into our last PGs at least. So let's CB1 and call you out. Spend the other quarter. Spend the other quarter. 
boom, boom, boom. Okay. Um, so we're gonna have to make a 17k line here. And... Damn it, this, this is where the Pia really comes in handy. It's kind of unfortunate that we can't do better. Let's call this out, not use a skill, and then use your skill maybe to clone that grade 2 one more time. That's kind of what I'm thinking about, it. just like clone it again. You still have one in deck, that's the main reason why. And then hopefully we don't whiff here, because if we whiff that would be like super sad. But the optimal play is basically we swing rears, hit with Primavera, clone this last one, and then we basically just draw three. Like, that would be really stonks. If we don't get that, that would hurt. Oh my god, the PG went to bottom. Oh no, 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 please, no defense, please, no. Aya. Aya. I. These games are so painful. They're so painful. They hurt so much. I got greedy and I got punished for it. And now Doomed is gonna kill me. <sighs> I don't wanna play Asha anymore. I'm glad I didn't craft the last Dream Spinnings because these opponents aren't letting me stride into them. Doomed is going to literally decapitate me right now. He is going to just. What just obliterate? Huh? What can you call that? It will countercharge in on call, sir. Sir, doomed is a doomed is a act. Is there a counter charge? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm f I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh my god, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm alive. I'm alive. I misplay, but I'm alive. I, I, but can you call it a misplay? It's called greed. Greed isn't a misplay. Greed is a player choice. Greed is player preference. <laughs> I said it. Okay. <laughs> my life is so stressful. <laughs> we technically... Primavera sucks if we go into her here. Like, she doesn't really do anything. Maybe we just go for the dream spinning again? This feels like a dream spinning play. And the resists don't really do anything in this matchup, so forget them. Alright. Good lord, pray for me. <laughs> pray for me. Can I please find a Pia? That, oh my god, I really did. Good lord, I actually did it. I don't believe it. Alright, um... But what do we clone? I guess we can... Clone the Pia first? Clone the Pia first, clone the Pia first. I know I have them in the deck. Let's clone the Pias first. They get powered up as well. Um, overcall this with this. Or we can actually put back the Grey 2s first, right? We can put back the Grey 2s first and power up the Pia. Let's call the Counter Charger. Let's call the Counter Charger. Put back a Grey 2. Power up Pia. And then here, we're gonna clone the Grade 2. In the back row, I think. Should I clone the Pia? Yeah, kind of like the idea of this. Because this lets me use the on-hit to at least draw some cards. And I think that's a bit better. And then here we'll put the PG back. And power up y'all. I think that's fine. Ching! Cool. And now let's draw some PGs, please. I'm not asking for much here, okay? Not asking for much here, buddy, friend, pal. Uh, pen pal, my friend. Um, we're not gonna be hitting with this anyway, so we might as well just like swing rear. And then swing with this to draw some cards, and then we still have a Cattle Blast face up. So it's fine. <laughs> I like his, uh, his painful groan. Very nice. Draw into two PGs. Okay, we drew into a heal, which is a defensive card at least. So that's nice. Draw into a PG, into a Pia. Draw into a PG, heal, let's go. Oh my lord. There's a PG, all right. All right. <laughs> Dear Neo Nectar mains, please help. I want to play the set six cards because they are very good. <laughs> but even then I feel like I am outmatched by literally everything. 
All right, doomed. This time... Oh my god, okay. Just use your claret skill. Use your claret skill and we're, we're Gucci. Use it. No, <laughs> he forgot to use it. <laughs> he forgot to use it. <laughs> oh no. All right, well... Uh, this means that, um... Wow, those great ones are actually coming in pretty hot. I, like, literally can't guard. Oh, I got excited. I literally, you could you could hear me get excited about the prospect of Phantom Blaster Diablo just getting denied by that domain. Alright, well, we're gonna go out in style, you see. We still have three heals left, so there's hope. And three PGs? Wow, crazy. That's, 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 that's how Mafia works. Alright, here comes the big fat retire and then pop two of mine. It's not random, right? You can just kill two Pias, which sucks. Oh, he doesn't. Interesting. That's wild. Oh, no, oh, Jesus. Wow, actually, oh, no, I still need to double heal anyway, because I can't take this crit attack. Like, whoosh. Freaking Diablo, man. Coming in and swanging at me. Do we get a heal? No, we don't. All right. <laughs> literally, back to back to back Ls. That's literally been my experience playing this deck. In set six meta, it does not keep up. It does not keep up. But you know what? Dream Spinning is a good card. <laughs> Dream Spinning is a good card, but not good enough to stand up to the set 6 meta, especially when Asha has new tools. But I hope um, I got to show off the value of certain cards, like the Resist. Didn't really do much there, of course. She's done more in my practice games. But, you know, me misplaying with the, uh, you know, the Maiden that draws is pretty cool. But we still drew some cards. And, uh, you know, Dream Spinning is pretty hard to misplay with. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, um, this was probably the most weird deck and fight I've ever recorded. This was probably the most like, what the hell just happened video that I've ever published. But I hope you got something out of it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you at least had a laugh as, as my misery kept getting worse and worse and worse. But it's fun. Asha is fun. Please do experiment with the deck, and I'm sure in the set 4 meta you can do better with it. Um, and let me know your thoughts in the comments, what else you can improve with it, what else you can do with it. But I do look forward to testing this deck with a set 6 support. And actually, like, it's weird because I did actually play quite a few games in practice of this deck and fight off stream. And I was starting to really feel myself. I was like, ooh, we're starting to like get the lines of play down. And then everything just erupted. <laughs> like, honestly, everything just erupted. So hopefully things go better for the set six one. I look forward to uh, posting up that one as well. But for now, that'll be it for me today. If you guys like the video, give it a like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. But otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.